Hey guys, we're back for another video. Today is Thursday, November 29th, 2018. One more day until December comes here. Um, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Sh Shahid underscore view underscore channel. Um, today we're going to um, have a celebration of this girl named Joy Behar. And she was on the field for 20 decades in the year. <laughs> Um, I'm so happy that she been there for 20 years if Barbara Waters, Star Jones, and much more co-hosts with Whoopi Goldberg. Now she's here with Megan McCain, Abby Hutzman, Whoopi Goldberg, Cindy Hostin. Um, take a look at this video that's going to be on your right hand side, and then we talk. I love that top. How many years, man? I know. Well, you know, you get hooked on a show like this because you can say whatever you want. Being a talk show host comes naturally to me because I'm a natural blabbermouth. This is no clip, no, right? Okay, that's all right. Yeah, I grew up in, in the tenement. My parents are working class people. I was never told to my family to shut up. And I took them quite seriously. Not literally, but seriously. I was successful late in life. I mean, I did not start my career in showbiz until I was about 39. This is a show that I have always wanted to do. The original audition for The View was held in a hotel room. And the first team of people were me, Debbie Matinopoulos, Meredith Vieira, and Star Jones. Barbara was watching us, like, you know, through the uh, see-through mirror or something, like they have in Law & Order. Let's talk about the Oscars, which really oh, sort of brings Speaking us to... Speaking of plastic Well, in a way it does. It's like the night of a hundred scars, okay? Barbara, to me, is like a magician. Immediately, we clicked. We just clicked. It's very hard to create that, that spark, and she did it. Uh, my name's Joy Behar. My real name, actually, is Josephine Okuda. You'll learn much more about her in the year and years to come. Barbara Walters was the draw, because I was poised to be in a sitcom, and other things were happening for me at that time. And then I got a call for this job. And uh, the other jobs paid a lot more, so you would think I would take those, but I didn't, because I thought Barbara Walters is not going to have a stupid show. In the early years, they had me jumping through hoops on this show. I had to go out west and ride a horse. Whoopi pushed me up a pole one time. I did line dancing in Texas. They had me doing all sorts of crazy stuff. You know, she sort of this, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn type of person, which is ironic because she does give a damn about everything except how people perceive her. You know that she is honest about herself and honest about you. She's not going to sell you out for a laugh. Joy is consistent in what she does and who she is. Uh, she doesn't mince words, and that's the great thing about her. That was total BS, and you know it. But You're too smart not to know that. But she makes you know what she feels. That makes me know. And she will challenge you if you come at her again, and she will win. She will win. Why not just find another person who had none of this ambiguity? Well, there, there are many judges out there who are quite capable of the job. I basically talk to everybody the same way. I don't talk to presidents different from what I talk to Gumad Angelouz. <laughs> who is Gumad Angelouz? She's an old Italian lady I grew up with. She's dead now. What's the controversial sex book that's on millions of women's bedside tables? He doesn't know it. I don't know that. Good. Okay, next. But I'll, I'll, I'll ask Michelle show. when I get home. Joy is the person that says what almost everybody else is thinking, but might be afraid to say. Right here, you're being delusional. No, I'm not. I'm not being delusional. Is the media supposed to not report on the fact that 95% of what he says is a lie? I love to have a politician in hot seat. I've met you before. You've always been very charming. <laughs> Yes. The press is easy. You guys are tough. <laughs> I particularly like it when I disagree with them. She was okay. asking me my opinion. Okay. Well, this is called the view, so we all give our opinions here. People forget that she's a comedian, and she'll get in trouble for stuff, and it's just like, she's a comedian. Leave her alone. She's just being funny. We're just comedians. And I don't go to horror movies. After this election, I've had enough nightmares. <laughs> we see things in a twisted, comedic way, and it's not always politically correct. No, just I... say I am not a crook. No, Do it. Just... You got the hair and everything. Come on. Uh... Do it like this. I am not a crook. Come on. I have something for you. 
My birth certificate. Uh, <laughs> you opened it, then you closed it. Then you opened it, then you yeah. closed it. But Is it you... fair to say you suffer from premature interpretation? <laughs> <laughs> I like sparring with Joy because I know she isn't going to get angry with me. What do you think? I think it's very healthy to have debates with with Joy, to have Republicans having debates with Joy, particularly this Republican. I'm a little <laughs> disappointed with with the congressional Republicans. She's kidding. She's a comedian. You are not. <laughs> no, I totally do. <laughs> The thing with O'Reilly was um, un very unusual. I have not walked off on shows. I don't do that. But that particular day, he was really, really being a You s agree with him. No, Most we're Americans. Americans. I'm an American. Well, let me break this to you. And he was just saying things that were completely not true. And he wouldn't really let you argue with him. Stop. Stop. What are you killed this on 9-11. No. No. Oh, my God. And I suddenly felt... My my body rising from my chair. It was like not a conscious thing. I almost felt like I can't sit here, and I just walked off. And Whoopi and I said, "Come on, Whoopi," and she followed me, and we left. Joy's gonna tell it like it is, and she's gonna tell the truth. And if you don't like it, fine, but you know it's gonna be her truth. I'm, How about a, a mime? Is my ideal lover a mime? With Joy, you're getting the real person. She tells the story of her life through the show. Warts and all. My father totally ignored me, so... <laughs> <laughs> and that's why she's had such an incredible career on the program. When I was young and I was a virgin I, and I wanted to make it special, it wasn't that freaking special. <laughs> she's smart. She's easy on the eyes. She carries a bold lip like no one I've ever seen. I, I can disagree with Megan. Doesn't mean I want to sleep with her. That's the thing. <laughs> She allows us to know that we can be our honest, authentic, funny, smart people. Joy has certainly moved the needle on feminism by being herself, by being on camera, by representing honesty. She has been very much part of the advance. For me, she's been an amazing role model. She's like the Joan of Arc and Spanx, you know? I see her as this woman who she's fierce. She's very funny. She is a comedian first. Joy is the only woman that I kiss where I could have gone back for more. Very soft lips, um, very come hither. She's just always been supportive. Like, I don't think she's ever called me toots, but I feel like she's called me toots. <laughs> Does that make sense at all? Welcome back. 20 years did not go bad that fast. Now, usually, when you're enjoying yourself, which I have been, it goes by like that. This one didn't. Why is that? I've met presidents, movie stars, musicians. I've sung songs with Carly Simon. I've met all these people, and that's why it didn't go by that fast. It's, it's incredible, really, and I'm very thankful for that. Have a good weekend. Take a little time to enjoy the view. Bye. It's a wrap. Thank you, Joy. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. So I met Joy Behar for a very long time, but not like in real life. I would love to meet her in real life. Um, but I would love to meet her now in person and give her a huge hug, congratulate her, um, and and all that stuff. I'm very proud of her. I re I really am. Um, she did 20 years making with she the curator is Barbara Walters, um, the co-host. She did it with Whoopi Goldberg. She got Whoopi Goldberg on the field on ABC. We're going to turn in Libby weekdays at 11, Mondays and Fridays, no weekends, especially on holidays. I think Christmas, I don't know. Um, and I'm very proud of her. Now, yesterday I told you about b Friday that will come here to the video. He couldn't make it today due to technical difficulties. Um, I don't know. Due to that, um, he should be here soon. I don't know when. Um, so he should be here very soon. The fun part is, we I made bloopers um, for Joy Behar for her celebration, and we're going to kick off for it. Here is bloopers of Joy Behar on the video. Check it out, guys. <laughs> hey, start over. <laughs> um, <were you? laughs>
Uh, oh, God, here we go. She better not touch my Bernie, which is actually the same size as the actual Bernie Sanders. Does she buy all of these? Or people I have no them? idea who gave this to her, but she's obsessed with Donald Trump. Are these like dog toys? I don't know I, what they are. I don't are. think they are. What now? I have no idea what that is, but I don't think it should stay in here. It's pretty scary. It's ugly. <laughs> Okay. What do you want to do with this thing? It's like, I bought this for you. Scratch my back, would you? Ah, uh, you don't know how I need one of these. Listen, I'm here for you. <laughs> but what, what are you really? Well, do she with that? one of the big things that she had mentioned was taxidermy and antlers. Uh, antlers. This is not real. But is this like from Rudolph? <laughs> yeah. I hope my dad is not watching. I know. Is she sure she wants these? I'm pretty sure she likes them. They're so ugly. This is as much controlled chaos as I can introduce this into is her life. This so ugly. I hate these. I don't know why you would want any of this. Right. It's as light as a feather, you know? I mean, you no, could, it's like a pillow. Look, you could wear you could put it on your head. That's how light this thing is. Um, I have a gift for you. So they're Russian dolls oh. with Putin in the top, <laughs> and then Trump, they go as second, uh -huh. and then, who's the next one? And then Jared Kushner, oh all go gosh. back to Russia. I'm not a comedian, I don't know. No, it's good. <laughs> this is a small space, but the, even this is, is hardly enough room for me to take my brassiere off. It is. Our design aesthetics are already so different, so, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. There are things Joy and I can find middle ground on. We both like to cook. So there you go. We both enjoy a refrigerator. So these are things that we have in common. So maybe he could just keep appliances around. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I swear. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, Comment down below, turn on notifications for live streams and upcoming events. Follow me on social media, Snapchat, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. It's going to be in the subscription box. Links will be in the subscription box and subscribe will be in the description for will be that. Have a great day everyone. Like Joe Behar used to say, take a little time to enjoy the view. Bye guys.